these are very special kinds of problems. Mathematicians are very particular about how we want these done. So we'll be given some equation. We'll be told prove some left-hand side equals some right-hand side. So instead of starting with the problem, I'm going to walk through the basic format of what these look like. Somebody tells us prove something. Okay. First thing I want to tell you, my first piece of advice, I know in your entire mathematical career, the first step you usually want to do, somebody hands you a math problem, the first thing you usually want to do is copy the problem. That gets you in trouble here. So step number one, do not recopy the problem. if it's printed out in front of you. So you're working, I mean, obviously, if you're working on notebook paper and you haven't even written down the problem, you'd have to write it down. But if you're working on something that's already printed, right here is a printed problem in front of you, your first step is not to recopy the thing you're trying to prove. My second piece of advice, start with the more complicated side. So one of these sides, the left-hand side or the right-hand side, is going to look uglier than the other one. I mean, mathematically, it doesn't matter. You could start with either side, but pick the one that looks the worst. This tends to be the best advice. Write that down. So let's say, for example, the right-hand side is the ugly side. So we would say, here's our proof. We would write down the right hand side. We literally just copy that, that one side down, put an equal sign, and then do a little bit of math. The change from here to here, there should be a change, and it should be something obvious to anyone that's taken this class. Everybody should be able to go, oh, I see what you did from there to there. And the first thing you probably want to do is change everything into sines and cosines. So if you got a bunch of secants and tangents and cotangents floating around, change everybody into sines and cosines. And keep making changes. Add fractions together. Use the Pythagorean. Make small algebraic changes that are equivalent. Notice my equal signs are lined up until magically in front of you appears the other side of the equation. In this case, the left-hand side. Then everything that's written here is your proof. Your proof will look like a waterfall. It will be over, go straight down, and then the other side here. Then we need to tell the reader, okay, the proof is over. So we write some kind of back in in high school geometry, you pro probably wrote QED, which is Latin for, and thus it is so, means the end of a proof. Or another thing mathematicians like is to put in a square box. Some people like to put in two lines and a dot, but some piece of information that says the proof is over. Right, let's look at an example. We'll do a few examples. Right, so I put these extra documents here in Canvas, some worksheets. These three here, I highly recommend you look through all three of them. Okay, I want to start off this one. This one has all the answers in it, so this is a really good one. It's worked out problems. Let's look at this problem here. We're told Cosine of x plus sine of x. Okay, I don't know if I was sharing during that. So here, let me share these documents right here. 
that are here under week eight. You definitely want to look through all of those. They have some really good worked out problems, worked out proofs for you. Okay, so my goal is to prove this statement. So I'm working on a test question. This is already written. So here's my work, here's my solution. First thing I'm gonna write is tell the reader I'm writing out a proof. So I say proof. That's a required step. I'm not gonna recopy the problem. That people recopy the problem and then they work on both sides. You're not allowed to work on both sides. You have to start with one side, turn it into the other side. So we look the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The right-hand side looks uglier, so that's the one I'm gonna start with. Start with the uglier side. Literally just write that down. And then put an equal sign. And then make some change. Do anything mathematically that you're allowed to do. There are quite literally, and I mean this in the true sense of the word, there are literally an infinite number of possible correct proofs. It's not like there's only one way to do this. There are infinite number of possible ways to do this. Your goal is just to figure out any one of them and write it down perfectly. So do anything you're allowed to do. For example, I could convert this cosecant into a one over sine. So make some change that's a legitimate change. Don't just make stuff up. Don't just start adding sevens, but change something algebraically into something that's equivalent. These two sides are equal. Okay, our next step, well, I've got parentheses with something multiplied. Let's, I don't know, let's distribute and see what happens. So I get cosine over sine plus sine over sine. Notice anybody that has taken this class can glance and immediately see, oh, I see what they did. You don't have to write out a reason because people can see what you did. Okay, now let's. Let's keep an eye what we're trying to hit. This is my goal. That's where I'm trying to get. So I look at what I have and I go, does that look like this? Oh yeah, it does. Look, cosine over sine is cotangent. That's one of my fundamental identities. Sine over sine, that's one. Hey, that's what I was trying to get. That was my goal. I started with one side. I put an equal sign, all my equal, when I grade these, I swear to you, if your equal signs are not lined up, I'll take points off. You have to take your time with these. These are the worst problems all semester. People have the most trouble with these because they don't pay attention to what I'm doing right here. There are so many ways to write this out wrong that you will not get credit for. Start with one side, only one side. Put an equal sign and turn that into the other side. You cannot work with both sides. You cannot start with the equation and work down until the two sides are equal. That is not a legitimate proof. So I've done what I said I was going to do. I turned one side into the other. I got to say, hey, the proof is over. I like putting just the box. Or you could put QED or you could literally write the words. The proof is over. 